Lesson 12, Types of User Interfaces. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to interact with icons and menus in a graphic user interface and state advantages and disadvantages of graphic and command line user interfaces. In our daily life, we interact with electronic devices to do different tasks. These devices include desktops, laptops, smartphones, and more. These electronic devices are made to be used by users. That is the reason why they are created with user interfaces. A user interface is the visual display that people use to communicate or interact with the computer. There are two main types of user interfaces. These are Graphic User Interface GUI and Command Line User Interface CLI. Most modern operating systems have both graphic and command line user interfaces. For instance, Linux, Mac OS, Android, and Windows are operating systems that come with both graphic and command line user interfaces. Let's discuss the two user interfaces in a bit detailed way. We will start with the graphic user interface GUI. Most computers, smartphones, and other electronic devices use graphic user interface. In lesson 11, you learned how to click on icons and navigate programs using a pointer on Windows OS. Icons and dialog boxes are a perfect example of GUI. This is called a Windows Taskbar. It displays icons that you can left-click to start programs. This is another example of a graphic user interface. The following clip gives an example of how you can interact with Windows graphic user interface. Another good example of graphic user interface is an Android smartphone touchscreen, which allows you to interact with apps by touching icons.
Lastly, GUI is a very interactive interface because it displays programs in graphics, text, dialog boxes, and menus. This makes it easier for humans to interact with computers. Command Line User Interface CLI is an interface that uses text commands. It has no icons or graphics. It only uses a text window as the screen. This window is like a dialog box. However, you have to use the keyboard to type in commands to interact with the operating system and other applications. As we conclude the lesson, let's have a look at merits and demerits of graphic and command line user interfaces. Revision exercise A. State five differences between graphic user interface and command line user interface. B. Describe advantages and disadvantages of both GUI and CLI. Summary In this lesson, you learned about two main types of user interfaces. These are graphic and command line. You also learned about the pros and cons of both graphic user interface and command line user interface.